Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you do or do not know, my name is Haley, and in today's video we're going to be doing a like advice for freshmen in college. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite part of today's video. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so to to start off, um, basically, like, my number one thing is, my number one thing would be don't get into drama with any of your roommates. Um, I've been there, done that, it's not fun, not worth it. Um, I got pulled into a loophole of drama and it just was not fun whatsoever. So try and stay out of that. Try and stay away from all the drama, confrontation, all of that. Just, you don't want to be in it. Secondly, um, don't worry about freshman 15 or literally any of that. I think that saying is so freaking stupid. Um, if you eat right, stay active, you will literally be fine. Um, most campuses have gyms on their campus, so you can always work out there if you're truly worried about it, but I would not worry about it whatsoever. Um, another thing I would say is be on top of your academics. Don't skip classes just because you can or you think the class isn't worth it. You're paying for the class don't waste your money um along with that with paying for it you need to know your financial stability and what you can and cannot afford and if you need to get another job because that is something that's literally top tier you need to know um I waited personally and that was like the worst choice I could have ever made so don't wait. Don't wait on that. Um, books. Wait until your first day of classes to buy your books. Um, I know most uh, universities or colleges have a bookstore. Um, personally, I didn't use any of my books my freshman year. Not a single one. So wait until like that first week out and see if you really need it. And if you do, then go ahead and buy it. But personally, uh, from personal experience, I didn't need the books at all. So don't waste your money on things that you don't need. And while we're talking about money and things that we don't need, your dorm. Only bring your essentials. Only bring things you'll need, some simple decoration. Other than that, leave the stuff at home. Clothes that you don't wear, anything, leave it at home. It's going to take up space and just things that you don't need it'll take up more space where you can be putting stuff that you actually do need in there um yeah i save your time save your space don't bring things that you are never going to use wear or need and another thing is partying be careful going out and don't make partying your whole college experience. I've seen many people drop out of college their first semester because all they did was party. Don't party too much. You can have your college experience while also not going out every single weekend. It will drain you out and you will lose focus on your schooling. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Um, I would also say don't get like a dog, a cat, any type of animal while you are living in a dorm. Um, I know a lot of people uh, get an ESA letter if you don't know what that means. It's emotional support animal. I know a lot of people get those but then they don't take care of their animal. They ask other people to take care of it. And they don't clean up after their animal or their animal is very destructive to their dorm. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. I also would say don't waste your time on guys. Um, 
a lot of them want one thing and one thing only. And for my younger audience, I'm not going to say what that is, but ladies, be careful of the men out there. I've had many, not personal experience, but I've had many experience is where I, we would get emails sent out saying something happened here, something happened there. There was something that happened in one of the dorms. Be aware. This is what the suspect looks like. So be aware of guys, be aware of who you're talking to on dating apps and who you meet up with. You always want to meet up with people in public places, maybe with a friend. Never go anywhere alone. Um, not saying that you can't, but I always like to go out with a friend or multiple friends for my safety. Um... I've just, I've seen too much happen to young girls and I don't want to risk it. The only places I literally go alone is school and work. And other than that, I have friends come with me literally everywhere, whether it's shopping or whatnot. There have been like a few occasions while, where I will go on my own, but I just, I prefer not to. Just be safe. Um, I would also bring, like, literally bring pepper spray. Um, I know a lot of people have those, like, keychains, but I essentially bring pepper spray with me. Everywhere I go, I always have my keys on me with my pepper spray. That never leaves my side. Again, young females, you have got to be extra careful, especially going out in college. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, this is my freedom. I'm going to do whatever, whenever, no one can stop me. No. You just, you need to be careful. Make sure you are able to protect yourself if you get into any kind of situation. Um, hello. Another thing is, I would do your schoolwork ahead of time. Um, I personally struggled with doing my schoolwork when it's due, the day of, and that put a lot of stress on me. So make sure you're studying, um, doing all of your work ahead of time. It will just make the whole college experience less stressful. Also, know your study habits and what helps you learn best, whether it's hands-on, um, using flashcards. Uh, visual, listening, auditory, I don't know all of them, but know how you learn best and use that in your study habits. So let's say it's, um, you learn better by listening and taking in the detail, but on some, find some YouTube videos that relates to what you're learning and use those. Um, along with hands-on, like you use flashcards and pointing and doing whatever. Know what works best for you. It'll make life a lot easier for you. And I would also stick with your two friends. You want to know, like, some people are going to still, like, not be mature coming right out of high school and want the high school drama and that is what they crave steer away from those people you don't want those people they create a lot of stress a lot of negativity and we don't want that we don't need that okay i moved we're now laying down but um my like overall like summary and advice is to stay focused on your academics, stay out of drama, it's so unnecessary, and a lot of people bring a lot of it for no reason. They just like it and there's no point in being in it. Um, don't party too hard. And really just stay focused on your academics and excel in school. And you'll do great. Um, I know a lot of people are worried about finding friends, but you'll guarantee, guarantee probably have a roommate 
which you make pretty close friends in that and all the people in your same major. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Um, college is fun. Live your best life. And don't worry about unnecessary stuff. But yeah, if you would like to see me make a video on like college dorms do and don't bring, um, make sure you like this video and comment down below that you would like to see me do that. Um, and comment down below some other video ideas you'd like to see me do. Um, classes start next week. Um, literally in like three days, classes start. So, yeah, I, I'll definitely be doing a vlog on my first day. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys later. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the love you have been sending me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.